senators. The National Commissioner in Charge of Information and Voter Education Committee of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, Festus Okoye, has said the commission is under pressure to deliver free, fair, and credible elections in 2023. This and more on NAS This Week, your weekly recap of the most significant happenings in and around the Nigerian National Assembly. I am Onje Ojochenemi. In the House of Representatives, ahead of next year's general election, the federal government has expressed outrage at the recent wave of campaign-related violence, as well as the growing result to making incendiary remarks by politicians at campaign rallies. Specifically, it said attacks on campaign offices and destruction of campaign materials are worrisome and must be nipped in the bud. The development came as the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, advocated the arrest of anyone who violates the relevant provisions of the Electoral Act, saying that it is the only way to curb election violence. The House of Representatives has again stressed the need for a better welfare package for personnel of the Nigerian Army, saying that to get the best out of the officers and men, issues of welfare must be given utmost priority and never compromised to enable the Army to tackle the nation's security challenges effectively. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has disclosed that the infrastructure it has put in place for the 2023 general election cannot allow rigging to take place during the elections. INEC named those infrastructures to include the INEC voter enrollment device, which eliminates voting by identity theft through the use of another person's permanent voter card, PVC. The bimodal vital accreditation system, BIVAS, which does not allow for multiple voting and electronically transmit results from polling units. And the INEC Resort Viewing Portal, IRIV, which make world collation result sheets available to people to see. INEC further said that the 2022 Electoral Act has threatened its operation and gives the Commission more confidence to deliver free, fair results to Nigerians. From the House of Representatives, we move to the Senate, where the Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed, on Tuesday said that his ministry needs more funds to tackle the scourge of fake news, hate speech, and propagate the achievements of government in the last seven and a half years. Senate Public Account Committee has uncovered 2.2 billion unaccounted expenditure collected by the Federal Ministry of Justice between 2017 to 2021 from the service wise votes. The committee chaired by Senator Matthew Urogedi is currently investigating over 200 agencies that benefited from service wise votes between 2017 and 2021, which is about 5 trillion naira. The Senate was told on Tuesday that the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, was presently carrying out a holistic probe into the $6 billion Mambila power project that has become a subject of legal tuzzle. Speaking in Abuja, when he appeared before Senator Gabriel Susun, Senator representing Benue Northeast, led Senate Committee on Power to defend the 2023 budget. Minister of Power Engineer Bobakar Aliyo said that the ministry has met stakeholders and all issues of consent is currently being resolved, adding that the issue of litigation on the Mambila Power Project is hampering the project. The Central Criminal Court, popularly known as Old Bailey, United States, Kingdom has reportedly said that the plea and trial hearing of former Deputy Senate President E.K. Ekwerimadu and his wife Beatrice over organ trafficking scheduled for Monday will not hold. Recall that Ekwerimadu and his wife on July 23, 2022 were being charged with Dr. Obina Obeta 
on allegation of wanting to make payment for the procurement of an organ for their daughter, Sonia, from one David Unwamin. The allegation led to the detention of Ekure Madu in UK prison after June 23 arrest. We've come to the end of this week's episode. Tune in next week for another insightful episode. Against any other.